Hey, what's happening, YouTube, Reddit, and anyone else on the internet? I hope you're having a fantastic day. I know I am. I am uh, out in the woods right now, and if you're wondering what I'm doing out here, it's because I am collecting a terrestrial moss from nature. Um, found a good piece of wood. This will go great in my new tank. Um, moss is awesome for several reasons. It produces a lot of oxygen. And most of it does fairly well um, underwater as long as you, whatever it's already growing on, take that with it, okay? And then you can rinse it off. And then like here, this is a little scraping tool. I, I found a good spot where it's kind of growing and I'm just kind of lifting away. Oh, here we go. And yeah, there are some bugs um, in here. Uh, so yeah, you, you do have to rinse this off. You just don't want to put it, you know, directly in your tank and it's now I can see why it's growing on here so well. It's, uh, this piece of wood that's completely rotten. Um, you can separate some of it. You just, you know, whatever it's been successful on, it's good to take a, a little bit of that too and put it in the tank. Um, but yeah, definitely rinse it. If there's any parasites or anything like that, or or insects you don't want, like you know, wild worms and whatnot, give it a good, a good solid rinse. Not with any chemicals, you know. Just rinsing it in tap water is great. But yeah, this is a river by my house. I don't collect any uh, submerged wild plants uh, that are growing from the bottom of the riverbed. Um, I do order those plants, but when it comes to moss, moss is really expensive and it actually grows everywhere. I found a good supply of it around my house, just some peat moss just after a rain. There was just a huge area of it. And I was, I was able to carpet my entire tiger salamander um, tank, which is a 40 gallon. And he has an entire carpet of just live moss, which is awesome. I'll show that too. But anyway, this was just uh, some helpful tips, you know, how to remove it, what you should do if you're going to go collect ter terrestrial moss, um, you know, and just give it a good rinse when you get home. I would just mist it for a few days, let everything get nice and waterlogged. Some of this stuff is, is drying up. I'll uh, let it come back to life, probably float it in the tank for a few days and uh, while it acclimatizes and then decide where I want it from there. And um, if you don't want what's on it anymore, once it's acclimatized to your tank, you can then, and it started to grow, you can then start to separate it from whatever wild piece of wood you have if you're really paranoid about that or, you know, any kind of uh, parasites out from the nature getting involved with your at-home tank, which can still happen, you know, those, you know, wh whether you do everything and order all your plants from a sterile environment and use perfect water that's been filtered and all of that uh, eventually st you know things can still happen so uh, if you're doing everything correctly you know you can prevent that kind of stuff and if you see it happening you can stop it before it gets out of control um but anyway yeah this is just a local river I, I live in minnesota so everything is finally melted but here's where i am here's what i'm doing Here's how you collect uh, some wild moss, and uh, we'll, you'll see it in my tank later. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.